Do you experience Wi-Fi dead spots, stuttering, or laggy gameplay? Well, all of this may be a result of your router. Joining us in studio today is JJ from ASUS. Welcome, JJ. Great to be here. What have you brought with you today? I've got two brand new 811AC routers. We've got the RTAC88U, and then here we've got the RTAC5300. And I'm so glad we're going to have this discussion because, in my experience, the end users that I often have to uh, work with as a technician hardly know what a router is. And oftentimes, the only reason they have one is because the ISP gave them one or they have DSL and it's part of the modem. And I think people don't realize just how important and how critical the router is to keeping us connected to our lifeline to the internet that so many of us can't live without. Clearly, all routers are not created equal. These products are pretty much the hub of the modern digital home. When we talk about how all our devices are connecting, um, they're all interfacing on some level, whether it's hardline or whether it's wirelessly, with a router. And your router is going to have a huge effect on the day in and day out experience that you have with all your devices, whether it's going to be your tablets, your cell phones, your televisions, uh, your internet of things. I mean, we're getting literally almost every single device now that you can purchase is coming form with some form of connectivity that's probably Wi-Fi dependent. And having, of course, a more robust and capable router is going to be changing the experiences you have on a day in and day out basis. And now more than ever, and definitely going towards the future, it's only going to increase. So how do you know when it's time to upgrade your router? So that, that's actually a really good question, and I think it actually helps us to kind of understand, specifically for these routers, who they might be targeted for. This is probably going to be first and foremost for users that have probably the higher class of internet services that are currently available. Um, while DSL is definitely could take advantage of this, when we talk about the pipeline that it's giving you in terms of your house, it's probably limited to maybe somewhere between about 25, maybe 50 megabits in some areas, so it's not that fast. But definitely if you're a cable user, you could be easily uh, getting you know, 50, 100, 150 megabits, 250 megabits. If you're a fiber user, of course, you could be getting into gigabit territory in terms of the connection speeds. Um, so when you've got that really big internet pipeline coming to your house, you want to be able to have a router that can take all of that and then be able to distribute that to all those devices. And so this is the type of uh, product that's really geared towards that type of user and also users that are looking for an extremely high level of usability from the router in more than just the sense of range and speed. Uh, there's a lot more that you can do with a router than what's traditionally thought of. And so when we talk about maybe uh, streaming, syncing, sharing, uh, having management options, um, and being able to uh, make a lot of adjustments in real time based on the content that you have on your Wi-Fi network, um, that also plays into this. And isn't it also true it can also help with security? Uh, for sure. Actually, that's a very overlooked aspect, and I think definitely we're going to talk about how these routers uh, bring a new uh, level of security uh, to the networking experience, uh, but in a much easier way. What are the key specifications that make these routers so special? What we have here is that first and foremost, these are Wave 2 enabled routers. So it's essentially the second generation of the 802.11 AC specification getting baked in here. And that's enabled because of the hardware that we have. Now, in regards to the hardware, uh, this is using the latest Broadcom chipset. It's a dual core 1.4 gigahertz processor at its core. That's extremely high performance, uh, especially when we talk about that for a router, right? You wouldn't necessarily think you had that level of speed. When we talk about the processing speed, these actually units are featuring multiple processors for specific functions. So now as we get to more advanced processors, or we have dual core chips, or we have processors that maybe handle one part of the router's function and another one that handles another part of the router's function, we can help to sustain the performance for all those connections at one time. Uh, moving back to the core specs, we've got that dual core. Uh, we have uh, DDR memory that's equipped in both of these models, so same type of high performance memory that you would see sometimes like in a notebook computer. Uh, and then we of course have a 4x4 four four based configuration here. So that means it's got four antennas. This is part of the Wave 2 spec. More antennas gives us more Wi-Fi bandwidth. Uh, in addition to that, we've got high performance uh, antenna amplification here, so for a really great range. And you've got USB 3 and USB 2. And I think the big kicker, and what's something you were interested in, it's got eight gigabit Ethernet ports on it. It's so appealing because it's got eight. I've never seen a router uh, not, not a consumer router with eight ports. It's a very welcome addition. Yeah, it's something that actually was an innovation on our part. We had to do a specialized design to be able to enable this advanced level of connectivity. Uh, the AC5300 on this side uh, pretty much mirrors the same exact chipset in terms of the base hardware, uh, except we dropped down to four ports, but it does one up uh, the the AC88U in regards that it is a tri-band router, so we actually have two 5 gigahertz bands. So this offers even a higher level of Wi-Fi bandwidth. So all the way around in terms of the heart of the key specifications here, we've got a lot packed into these two units. So for people who aren't familiar, the router basically has three jobs. It's to share your internet, provide you some protection, and allow 
printer and file sharing across your local network in your home or small office. And when we talk about sharing, you may, you know, wireless printers, for example, are pretty commonplace now. But if you have an older printer and you want to be able to share that without having to leave a computer on constantly, can you plug it into one of these USB ports into the router and just leave the printer on and everybody can have access to it? That's correct. Uh, for all of our USB ports, both of USB 2 and USB 3, they, they fully support uh, not only storage sharing, but also uh, multifunction printer sharing. Now, if only it was that easy to solve all of our Wi-Fi problems with just worrying about range and speed. But most routers just treat all devices equally on the network. That's correct. And actually, that's really where one of the big challenges you've had at making sure that the network operates the way that you want the network to work. And so what we've gone ahead and done is really implemented some innovative and industry-leading technologies. We have, uh, first and foremost, what we call our deep packet inspection analysis technology. So while well, this is a really big name, pretty much what it does is it evaluates all the traffic that comes through the router, so both on the wireless side as well as on the physical side, so your Ethernet connection. Uh, whatever it might be that's streamed through there, we can essentially analyze that and understand what it is. And we can even really granularly understand. So we understand the difference between uh, web page traffic and like YouTube. Break all that information down and even know how much you're using every respective part of your network. And once we do that, we can then leverage other parts of our firmware and technology that we have baked in that allows us to prioritize the devices that are connected uh, in a really interesting and a really useful way. So let's say somebody's got their smartphone, their tablet, their television, whatever it is that they have connected in their house, and they want to ensure those devices are the ones that are always getting the preferred level of bandwidth uh, beyond anything else that might be occurring in so the they, house. So they get priority. Exactly. You can manually set that. And you can adaptively change that on the fly. You can go into our interface. You can customize that regularly so that if you want one device to get that bandwidth, versus another device, you can do the, all that in real time. So when you combine this together with already the class leading range and the class leading performance that we offer, you really get that best of both worlds in terms of really making sure you get a great Wi-Fi experience. Um, and then even on top of that, we've also even baked in support for some next generation Wi-Fi technologies like beamforming and even multi-user MIMO, which they're just starting to wait, make their way into new devices, which are even gonna help this even further in terms of giving us even more coverage and more performance. But uh, these type of features in terms of prioritization and analysis analysis technology have never really been seen before um, in consumer routers. It's really only been something you kind of had available to you in very professional segments of the market that had to be managed. So now to be able to have users have this class of control is uh, it's, it's quite impressive. Now I understand these routers even have further optimization for gaming and you guys call it WTF? Yes, it's actually not our name. We've actually partnered uh, with a with actually a specific uh, service provider that's called the What the Fast Gaming Network. And we've gone ahead and incorporated this purposely and first and foremost for gamers. So uh, when you talk about optimization in an internal network, we can take care of all that for you, right? So if you've got your system, so you're logging into Steam on your notebook or your desktop, your Steam machine, whatever it might be, you're playing your games, we can make sure that what gets prioritized internally is always the game first, right? But once you get to the outside world, what do you do there? You've always essentially fallen victim to the servers that you're going to be connecting to. What and else can you do? Yeah, that's the reality. But you can actually do something else. Um, the What the Fast Gaming service has existed now for a couple of years, and essentially what they offer is dedicated servers that prioritize exclusively gaming traffic. So essentially, once you sign up, you enter in that information, we can essentially process all that on both sides of the fence for you so that you get connected out to essentially a game-specific optimized server. So that helps to maximize and improve uh, your ping and your latency performance for essentially a better online gaming experience. Long term, this is an industry leading feature that we're the first vendor to incorporate anything like this to be able to give you the better gaming experience on both sides of the fence. So routers also improve security. Well, some do. Mm -hmm. And I understand that the routers you've brought with you today actually have improved security features that not only protect you against, well, things like worms and things are handled through network address translations and the natural ability of the router but I also understand there's other security features. So it's not like having antivirus or anti-malware baked in. Uh, we can't disinfect anything, but what we can do is help to safeguard the connections that you make. Now, a lot of people don't realize that one of the highest levels of infections that you have is uh, essentially the mobile devices that you connect to the internet where you're surfing on, let's say, your tablet, on your smartphone, your desktop computer. You might end up going to a malicious site, maybe from a search engine. You look for free wallpapers or free screensavers, or you're looking for something. You end up on the wrong site, and you can actually get infected. And what we can do is that at the heart, which is your router, which is processing all this internet traffic, we can look at the servers that you're going to be connecting to and then leveraging Trend Micro's IP information, so their intellectual property at monitoring known malicious websites, we can preventively beforehand go, oh, you're going to connect to this malicious server and we'll black out the screen, we'll stop it and let you know, hey, 
this is a malicious site. This could be compromising the integrity of your system. So this is all done automatically for you to help to safeguard your system. Um, beyond that, we also even have notification built in. So if you want to be informed of when this occurs, maybe mm -hmm. you're the person, you're a parent in the family, uh, maybe you're a professional that has a small business and you just want to know, hey, maybe there's these potential intrusions or infections, you can even be emailed. Uh, so essentially you know that that's occurred on your network. These are really advanced level of features that just traditionally have never been seen before. Uh, and most users don't think about having this type of security functionality available to you. So some really, really cool stuff here. Uh, in normal circumstances, we open up our browser, we go to the IP address of the router, we log into it, and then we go through the different tabs and, and every router is a little different in how they have that information, but we know it's in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I understand with these new routers, ASUS has come up with a clever application to resolve this. You know, if we look to setting up the router in terms of configuring it and taking advantage of a lot of the rich options, what we've really found is that even though we've made the firmware interface um, much easier to work with and we give you all these different options, it becomes kind of cumbersome and not really easy to be able to get into the router every single time you want to adjust something. It can, you want be, in, it can be intimidating too. Yeah, it can be intimidating, it can be non-intuitive, or also it just might not be expedient, right? You know, you might have somebody come over and you want to give them the Wi-Fi password, you want to create a new guest network, you want to block the internet, um, you want to be able to do all kinds of things that your router might be capable of, but it might not be something that you're comfortable with or you can do right at that moment. So to be able to really kind of resolve these issues, we decided to be able to create what we call our ASUS router app. So this is really kind of an industry first. Um, it works right now for not only these routers, but actually 14 different ASUS routers. So essentially, once you go through the initial setup, you're able to go ahead and manage the router in a really, really deep level. Um, you can see everything from the traffic that's happening in real time. You can see the number of devices that you have connected. You can see which bands they're connected to, 2.4, or is it five gigahertz? Is it a hardline connection? Um, at breaking each unit down, if you want to assign pictures to every single device, you know, you can take a picture of that device to know exactly where it is. When it's connected. When it's connected, exactly. If you want to be able to see the signal strength for, you know, the computer that's in the, uh, you know, the bottom uh, bedroom versus, you know, the, maybe your uh, Wi-Fi enabled lights that are in your patio or whether it's, you know, your Wi-Fi speaker, yeah, whatever it might be, you can break all that information down, uh, and that's available to you. Um, we also have the ability to share your actually Wi-Fi password in a really easy way. All I need to do now is I can go ahead and just open up my app, and I can text it to my friend. Even better, though, is maybe you don't want to have somebody have access to your personal network, but you want to give them access to your Wi-Fi. In this situation, there's what's called creating a guest network. Um, most users don't realize their router might be able to do it. These offer the ability to have a lot of guest networks. You can do it at the touch of a button. Parents or uh, you know, system administrators or small business owners, maybe you want to limit somebody from being able to actually even be on the internet, right? This is great. Maybe you've got a kid, they're playing tablet, you know, they're playing Minecraft, you want them to eat, you know? So all you got to do is I can go into the app and I go, oh, there's that tablet. I can click it and I can immediately disable their internet. All at the touch of a button. Let me ask you this. Can you actually update the firmware from the app? Yes, you can. Actually, that's one of the probably the most common things that right now users fail to do because it's not necessarily easy or intuitive. And now at the click of a button, they can go ahead and update the firmware. And even for people that want to troubleshoot or have some diagnostic aspects, they can actually check their internet service provider, their modem, and their router all at the touch of a button and check to make sure those all things are working. You know, in some situations where you need to reboot the router, you can even reboot the router from the app. You mentioned some people might have two of these routers. Yes. Or even more than that. Mm -hmm. Will the app differentiate between each router? Will they be able to communicate to all of their ASUS routers with the app? That's a great, uh, that's a great actually question because we sometimes have users that maybe progress and have a new higher, uh, higher performing router that maybe has certain tasks and then they have another router which is maybe more basic for other different types of functions. And in the wrap you can easily go in and you can select which router you want to manage. So of course the options as far as which features you can dynamically adjust within the application will be dependent on which router you're managing. But you can definitely handle more than one router. Now, off camera, you were telling me a little bit about some added security features that are also with the app. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about all those uh, security functions that we have baked in, and one of the really nice things is that that a touch of a button, once again, you can go ahead and run our security scan, which will run through the most common exploits. And so you can go ahead and uh, automatically have those things be recognized, and if we can automatically take care of them for you, you can click a button and we'll go ahead and resolve them for you. And if they're items that have to require some form of manual adjustment, like maybe changing your password because it's not secure, we'll at least give you a, a very visual notice to say, hey, you should make an adjustment for this. Now, earlier we talked about the USB how it can be used for sharing your printer. I, I suppose you could 
plug a hard drive in there for media streaming? Yeah, media streaming, or some people want to use this actually just as a network attached drive for backup purposes with actually having USB 3 and actually having this being able to provide extremely, it's actually the fastest USB 3 performance you've ever had for any router. You know, no problem being able to handle a normal mechanical hard drive. Um, you can have it for Time Machine support also if you're an Apple user, um, but we can even do more than that because uh, you have cloud-based support as well. So you can actually create your own cloud. That's correct. We call it AI Cloud. This is another application that you can download, same thing. You can put it on your smartphone or your tablet. Uh, you just attach your drive. You can go ahead and get it set up for you. And pretty much the way that we see this is allowing you to have an easy way to stream, sync, and share your data, but in your own private attached, essentially, cloud. Uh, you get to manage, essentially, the amount of capacity that you have available to you. You can essentially restrict who you want to be able to have access to this. Um, and in the same ways, even if you want to synchronize this with cloud services, you can also still synchronize it with cloud services so that if you want to be part of a more complete kind of a backup or redundant mechanism to be able to access your content, you can do that. But at the same time, if you want to limit it and not be so dependent on cloud services and the changes or the exploits that they might have available to them, you have this option available to you. Um, and actually, it even rolls out to even a more advanced model for users that might have multiple of our ASUS routers, maybe in one location and another location, and they want to even be able to synchronize information from one place to the other. They can do router to router syncing. Now, what is Cloud Check? We've partnered with another company, uh, and this is once again another application. But the really nice thing that it does is it allows users to be able to create essentially a, a Wi Fi performance map with recommendations on how to improve their Wi Fi experience. But what we try to then do is synchronize with Cloud Check and their services, and then they understand different aspects of what our routers can do, and then there can then be recommendations to help you be able to improve the experience on your Wi Fi network. Maybe that's changing the channel, maybe it's changing the position of one of the devices or the router, but essentially it just helps you a little bit more clearly understand how your Wi Fi environment is made up and what you can do to improve it. So this is all part of kind of our philosophy, trying to make uh, networking, which is such a critical part of our everyday lives a little bit easier and simpler to use. Now, are there any other bells, whistles, or features on these routers that we haven't talked about that you want to mention? There's definitely a huge amount more, whether we talk about the hardware, whether we talk about the firmware. And I definitely say if you guys are interested in it, you're going to want to make sure to check out the respective product pages. They go into even more depth and more information. And definitely, uh, they're the most complete set of routers that we've ever put to the market in terms of their features, their functions, and their performance. Well, I've realized it's time for me to upgrade my RTN 66U. I definitely like the 8 port the 88U, and uh, thanks for coming here and, and, and spending my money for me because now I have to go and buy this. Not a problem. As always, it's been great being here. If you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by clicking like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment in the section below. And for more great content, please be sure to visit our new video shopping platform at Newegg.tv. I'm Kerry Holzman, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.